Hey guys, Flame here, and today we're on episode 2 of my fi Lights Final Tool Flash Fire Build or Flash Freeze. I forgot what I'm calling it to be honest with you, but um, yeah, I told you I was gonna get on a con. The fix our stat mistake, and I did. This build is literally, literally only possible if you go Grammar or Con. So I have to go Con. I have to be a monkey. The game's telling me in order to make my build, I have to be a baboon. So if you look at my stats, this is what we're at. All you missed me doing off camera is one. I just transferred this over because, you know, you know, I, I, I had this on another slide. I just gave myself a two star curse shield uh, because I was going to reset my stats. I put it on before I reset. So I still have the good shield, even though I have less fortitude. Um, other things I did was I went to the shrine of something i'll put the name here i went to that shrine uh when i was level nine so i could reset my uh stats of shrine of order without investing as much because basically you can use shrine of order at level nine if you go here first you go here you uh use this at level nine and it'll instantly boost you to level 12 but not have you put any stats in so basically that's what i did I did that and then I uh, shrine of ordered and now we've got our shrine of order stats um uh, I haven't actually checked what flaw I got because when you do use the level up a uh, shrine it does give you a random flaw and it looks like I got hemophilia so I do bleed more um, we can always get knowledge and re-roll that because if anything I want to try and get manic probably or obvious or vegetarian anything else really hemophilia is kind of i don't really want that so later on we are definitely gonna have to re-roll that but the order of what we're gonna do today is simple train flame train willpower get armor go to layer two get ignition hook and then we'll probably end there or kill a few mama sharkos and then a few mama crocs and then end I'm not, I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll see. Let's just get into it. All right, we're at Sharko Cave, so I'm just going to speed run my heart the gem training here. So, yeah, enjoy the music. Alright, we have all the flame charm we need to get the concuss and a couple other flame talents, so we'll train our flame charm again later, but now it's time to try and get the lights final tool, so we're gonna train willpower, let's see how much it gives us, come on, give me a good little boost, you feel me, give me a good little boost, oh my god, already is crazy, already is so crazy, that's so annoying, Ah. Uh. All right, so we have to get to 65 willpower somehow. I really don't know how I want to go about this. I could just sit down and pray your beats for five hours, but like that's boring for you guys and even more boring and painful for me because I'm going to have to actually sit through it. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of other options. I mean, I could just throw up a lot, but that's even low-key just as boring, but not as AFKable. So that's like, oh no, that's almost just as long. We could just use prayer beads in the depths. Or we could do events. Events would probably be the least boring, but still take a pretty long time for a little effort. Like, man, that's a lot more effort. I don't know. Willpower is just one of those that's really terrible to train. I could get potions for it, but I don't think that'll help us very much. Because I'd have to server hop the flowers. They're in some of the most annoying spots, too, those flowers. Ah, bro. I, don't, I hate willpower. I hate it so much. All right, so we're at Song Seeker because I have an idea to train my um, willpower, and I want to test it out. We're gonna see if it works together. Ah, uh, these Crocs actually might be in the way. Okay, let's just see if we can kill him real quick. All right, 
we killed the Thresher, so <laughs> let's go, uh, first let's put the prayer beads in our hotbar, just so it's easier for me, and now let's go test my theory, see, I feel like if I sit in this light, nah, you can't be serious, bro, no, bro, it's, I can't even test it for real, because all of these mobs, wait, I can get them to fight each other, hold up, Hold up, come here. Yup, yup. Have a good time. Have a good play day. Hope you guys have a good have a great day. Alright. Let's just sit in the beams of light. Theoretically, I should be going insane really fast right here, because I'm like right under it. So I should be training my willpower somewhat fast. Let's see how fast we get this willpower point. I feel like I'm not going insane though. Like am I not in the right spot? Just kind of sit. Just kind of sit. Let's see here. Oh, we're really starting to go insane. Let's see how far. Do you guys see how fast I got that point? Okay, but now we're about to die. We're about to die. When you, I need to figure out how to optimize this, bro. The points are quick, but like, my sanity is insane, bro. Like, I don't think I'll be able to get more than one point before I just blow up. Hmm. We, we, we gonna we gonna figure this out for real. All right, sitting directly underneath it is definitely the best way to start the insanity proking for willpower. But now, since we're so actually, I think I could get another one. I, I, I'm not no puss, bro. I'm go I'm going back. Okay, now see we're really starting to get insane now. Like I can't even stay here. Okay, it's definitely about being in combat. That's the key. As long as you're in combat, your insanity will go up like crazy. Okay, guys, after training all that willpower in my base, we're at 57 willpower. So we need eight more to actually get our light's final toll. And that's also conveniently the amount we need for all the dead gods. But I ran into an issue. I need training, so we're probably just going to kill a few Threshers, maybe a Song Seeker, just so we can get these last eight points and equip our weapon. Alright, uh, we got two more points in willpower, so we're at 59, but I did level up, so I want to show you guys the level up, so let's see what talents we get. Um, neuroplasticity is obviously the choice. Uh, come on, come on, give us another rare. More rares, more rares. Nope, um, I don't really care about any of these, so we're just gonna, uh, fold here. Aggressive posture is pretty terrible and I do need agitating spark to like roll every single other flame card that's good so we're just gonna get that. And let's just get our song chant to three. I don't know what my trait split is gonna be yet. I might go three 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 to be honest just complete balance is all things should be but you know I don't know. All right, let's see if I can actually get this pattern down. Okay, I sold there, but... Bro, oh, I'm in Virginia, that makes sense. I was about to say, why is everything so late? But we can still do this. I just gotta parry a little bit later. Okay, back up from that. I always... Okay, whenever it makes that noise, I just need to parry quickly. Because that one doesn't make a noise, it just has the same visual. So, yeah, every time I hear that noise, we just need to parry. I'm hap. I can't get three hits if I want to dodge that move. That's kind of annoying. Here we go. That should be enough XP to get our willpower to 65, so I'm gonna see if it is, and then I'll be back to you guys. Right, we got soft locked again, bro. These threshers just give no XP. I can't wait till we're able to fight the mom on the mama croco on the hive, but we do need two more points of willpower to get to 65, so we just need to kill like one more thresher, and then we should be able to finally get to 65 willpower. Okay, we finally got to 65 willpower, so I'm gonna go transfer over our 
um, what's it called? Light's final toll from my PVE slot to this slot, and I'll see you guys when I do that. Alright, we just picked up the presents from my other slot. I don't know if any of this armor is better than what I've got on, but we're gonna find out. Let's see. First, equip Light's final toll. We finally have it. We can actually do damage. That is so goaded now. Uh, let's just equip this ring of whips for when we get a wisp later. I guess we can equip the rosen ring and i'm pretty sure i dropped in the cure yep cure ring just put on all those rings let's see here this is definitely better than my shoes um this is i guess better I, i'll take that monster damage this is definitely better um and ooh I don't know this is what 16 health 3% elemental and then this is 18 no, 18 health is just better to be honest and then this 9 health pendant and there we go <laughs> now we've got some pretty good armor we've got some good rings not having on this black shrouded cape though really hurts the drip I'm not gonna lie like uh not having my mask makes me look so disgusting bro uh -huh. all right we're back at the blacksmith in uh etria uh i just bought all the materials so we should be able to craft this hive drone uh, i did the wrong one uh here we go take the schematic craft something for me hive drone i think i have everything we need yep there we go hive drone this is definitely like the best mid-game armor because it's pretty much the easiest armor to make in the game and it gives pretty good stats um Here's the stats it gives, uh, yeah, 25% on both major resistances, really good for mid-tier, mid-game armor, so now that we have that, I feel way more comfortable going down into layer 2 to try and beat the Bone Keeper and, uh, get my ignition hook. Shout out to this guy, bro. I couldn't, apparently level 13 is too low to go to layer 2, so like, I needed this guy to send me and he did. Oh, what a wonderful human soul. Alright, missions we have to accomplish in layer 2. We need to get ignition hook. Most important thing, we have to get it, bro. I have to tee up on this bone keeper, bro. I'm actually scared because of how much damage he does, like... <sighs> I don't really know if we're gonna be able to kill him on this build because we don't do any damage for real right now and he does a lot but um I definitely know his patterns enough for it to be possible to beat him hopefully I just don't sell but we need to beat him we need to get the ignition hook the biggest thing next I want to try and get the se the spear um talent because why not hopefully we have enough time to do that and then if we have enough time really in the end i might try and fight chaser but i really have no way to effectively break the upper level blood jars but i don't think i'd be able to do it fast enough for the light hook or comfortably enough to like do it without the light hook because usually i use um star kindred dash to get up there and break those easily or a uh brachial spear but this build just doesn't have those things. Hopefully we can do this. Just gotta really pay attention to the patterns. Really do this right. And I'm already selling. Okay, that wasn't that much damage. That's really the move we gotta pay attention to. Okay, weave. Yup. Use this as reinforce. No shot! I didn't dodge that. Okay, 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 okay. Selling in rat. Okay. Somehow I'm alive right now, but I, okay, new plan, can't believe I sold that hard, bro, like, I dodged, that shouldn't have hit me, I don't, I have observation, I need safety dance, bro, it, it would have definitely dodged if I had safety dance, yeah, yeah, nothing we could really do. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to find another good Samaritan to bring us down, cause I definitely think I can beat the Bone Keeper. I don't, bro, that did not hit me. <laughs> that did not hit me, bro. All right, we're back at the fight. Hopefully, I don't sell this time, bro. That's that's all I have to do is not sell. Okay, we we doing good so far, you know. We doing good so far. Yep, dodged it that time. 
Okay, do this. Yup. Rotate around. Bro, I'm dodging too early. I'm too used to safety dance. That has to be it. That's gotta be it, bro. Okay, I just gotta dodge later. If I'm gonna attack cancel. I'm just so used to safety dance, bro. I can do it so early with safety dance. I didn't even notice how much I was crutching safety dance until now. Ah, jump. Okay, let's move around. Yup. Weave that. Yup. Okay, I'll probably do that one. Yup. I hate dodging late for that, though. Dodging slow on that makes me feel like I'm gonna die, bro. I did not parry that. Uh... That's like one of the hardest things for me to parry, to be honest. Okay, let's see here. Dodge that. Bro, this is just showing how dodge is just superior to parry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, I almost missed that. I'm not gonna lie. I dodged a little bit too early against that red one. Bro, it's just so scary because I know if I miss it, I die. Okay, as long as we can just stay good until we get our next reinforces, we're, we're chilling. Okay, that would have hit me. I was just out of range. That's so lucky on my part. Ah, I didn't roll in time. I should have buried. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm, dodge all that. Ooh. Okay, there we go. We're actually, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Bro, I just hate it so much. Dodging late on that makes me feel like I'm gonna sell it. I, I want safety dance now. <laughs> I want safety dance yesterday. Bro, how tanky is he, bro? Oh, oh, we did it. We did it. We're built different. No, no, we can only get one talent. I just thought about it. I don't really know how to do. I don't know when you get the spear, you know how you have to fall through the floor. I don't really know how to get back because usually I just break the floor down again with like flame leap or my agility. And then I just like flame leap out or do a star kindred dash out. I've never actually left the spear place the way that is intended. So I don't really know where that is or how to do it. So we can look around for it to try and, you know, unlock the talent if we just use our light hook time for it. But I don't really know how to do it. <laughs> so it might actually prove to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, now let's try and do this next talent we might as well not gonna lie that actually jump scared me bro i was not paying attention that j bro that jump scared me so much is it right here or is it oh yeah it is right here okay this is where the problem lies i don't know the actual way to get back up so I don't know what to do here. Did I just slip? Okay, I didn't touch any. I don't actually know how to get back up. Like, this is normally how I get back up. I don't know how to do this normally, but I guess we can look around trying to figure it out. This just looks like a dead end. Bro, we just went in a whole circle. <laughs> that is wild. Hurt so bad. I'm guessing this is the right way though. Because it's the most dangerous. Oh no. This is, oh, this is so tragic. This is how Batman dies. How do I get out? Bro, <laughs> like what? In the trap. Oh, we're at an upper level now though, so. I think I might be able to get out. I just need to figure out where I am. Yes, we actually got back up the normal way. Oh, by pure chance too. Hopefully we can get out in time. I need to get my light hook down so I can keep an eye on this. 
Okay, we have four minutes. We got this. This is easy. We're just gonna get this talent and dip. Simple, bro. Simple. Thought that would give me a little bit of speed, but really that kind of just slowed me down using flame grab. All right, we got the next talent and I'm ready to leave. All right. If I'm so nauseating, I'll get out your hair. Yeah, yeah odium and, and sequestrian. No, yeah, sequestrian, call me later. But anyways, let's just beat the shark real quick so we can actually keep going with our progression. So far, I'm really liking Lights Fun Untold. This by far is the coolest looking weapon in the game to me. And bro, I'm doing damage, not gonna lie. This is the coolest looking weapon to me in the game. Like, n not even close. And I really like its M1s. They feel great. It's like Fist, but for range. I love it. I love it so much. Because Fist was already, like, one of my favorites. Fist and Rapier. Fist probably more, though. Fist was my original main weapon. But I just hated the range. But this range is great. So this is probably my favorite weapon in the game. And it makes it even better that I can actually enchant it. Unlike other legendary weapons. Okay, the next thing I really want to train for this build is my intelligence. Get that to 40 so we can roll all the dead gods and the other intelligence talents. So we need to go to Etria, get us a math textbook. And then we'll head to Hive to go fight the Mama Sharko. I think after leveling up a little bit at the Mama Sharko, we'll call this an episode. Because this one's been quite long, but hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you are enjoying this series, I know Deep Oaken's not usually what I post, but I do want to post a lot more of it because um, Deep Oaken is probably my favorite game right now. And ABA is just not hitting the same as it used to. Like I, on updates, it hits crazy and we get like all the attention and everything. But like, you know, once the, the, the update hype dies off, bro, it's like Deep Oaken is what I'm playing, bro. Deep Oaken is just in my opinion the most cohesive creative and like just overall best game on roblox so you know i, I want to keep playing it so if you guys are enjoying this series don't forget to like comment and subscribe appreciate it thank you all right we're at great high veritel and this is why i wanted to get the ignition hook because getting up to here where you wash your face and fight widow and fight the mama thresher in the void zone it's quite hard to get to without the ignition hook like who's climbing like i've climbed this once never again bro like why did they i mean i guess they made it this high just so people would have a reason to go get ignition hook like more reason to go do layer two but still like this is this is ridiculous bro like why are we this high up all right we made it to the area where the king thresh responds but people do server hop this because of how much the xp is so we are going to also have to server hop because it's not here, but let's try and kill this one real quick. And after we kill this, we'll get our intelligence up as much as we can, and then we'll go kill the King Thresher. We'll server hop for it. All right, we just leveled up, so let's see what we got. Um, Thresher Claws is obviously what we're going to pick. Immolation is also very important. Basically gives us a um, blazing enchant. As long as we have um, uh, agitating spark, so I'm gonna freeze this, and then we're just gonna take Thresher Claws. Uh, I think I'm gonna burn this too. Yeah, we'll burn Savior because I don't want to see that card. Take Thresher Claws, freeze Immolation. Okay, let's see here. I don't know Stasis. Uh, I don't like that or Dancing Steps. Chrono Stasis could be nice. I'm gonna take it just because I'd rather have another rare to reroll. This is a hard choice because I really want Flame Blind so I can get its talent, its follow up talent, but I know for a fact the only ice move I want is Ice Eruption, and this could be something other than Flame Blind, so we are gonna actually take Ice Eruption. And where do I wanna put this? I think I'll put Ice Eruption at zero. Yeah, I like that key bind for it. All right, we found, bro, it took so long, I'm not gonna lie, but we finally found a server with the Mama Croc in it, so we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, hopefully I can get this right. Let's just tee up, you know? I don't know if I can parry that. Ah, okay, so I have to immediately parry after the body slam, because it'll do a double attack. Okay, that's tail. Uh, that just misses. I just parried there, because I didn't know the hitbox. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. See, I always think that's the tail throw, bro. I need to stop hitting after the body slam. He always does more attacks. 
Okay, there we go. That's tail swipe. Bro, it's so much harder to dodge that on... Okay, and there I go attacking after body swipe again. But it's so much harder to dodge this on King than the normal one. Okay, so I can get one comfortable swipe when he does body slam. Thought he was gonna do fire. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wanna heal. Okay, there we go. Health pack. Easy. Reinforce and let's go back in. Off rip though is crazy. Oh, and we killed it. Daniel's one hit away. We really didn't need the heal. We could have just kept hitting it. First try, we get an enchant. Crazy. Oh, this could be good on a PvE build. Anything else good in here? Nah. Okay, it's been a little bit. I was doing math, you know, had to get my intelligence up. And we got it to 40, so we can roll all the dead gods and the intelligence rares. And now our next step is going to be getting our flame up to 75 because that's all the flame talent 75 is a uh, what's it called flame emperor and then 65 is mirage clone so we have to get that 75 next to make sure we get as many of these flame cards as we can while we still can so yeah let's go train our flame we got some more aces I actually do want ever changing ages it's so good i mean it's not as good as more people are going hybrid but it's still just it's so underrated bro like you feel it you really do feel it okay explosive finish is something we definitely need in this build so like definitely gotta get explosive finish so definitely have to get flaming flourish but i don't know if i want to get flaming flourish right now or fold because we don't have any burns to get rid of this but i think we're just gonna get the flaming flourish okay found the croc time to go to work I think I learned its pattern a little bit more, so hopefully we should just not have to heal at all. I mean, we didn't really have to heal last time. I just sold and got scared. Okay, buddy. I don't know how many hits I'm allowed. Okay, that... We're doing trash this time. Bro, it's because I'm miss. It's because I'm whiffing a parry. It's the new parry cooldown. I'm whiffing one, so... Because it moves too much. That's why I hate it, bro. Like, it just moves so much. I'm parrying as if... I was gonna get hit but it doesn't actually hit me because it's moving away from me and it's just in my face right there like bro that's so dumb it's gonna miss the first bite and then my parry goes on cooldown and then it just block breaks me and does so much damage for no reason so like I don't know I feel like the parry cooldown shouldn't be a thing when it comes to PvE that's kind of stupid or at least just make the AI better on this mob in particular. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't record it because I didn't think it was gonna be as crazy as it was. But what, we killed the Mama Thresher one time? I swear to you, like, I don't know how much exactly investment points, but it was at least six, bro. Six or more I just put in, and I didn't even use flame moves. Bro, the XP on that Mama Thresher is crazy, bro. It's crazy. And I can still put in more points, I just have to use fire. Like... I'm not even soft capped yet, and I put in like six or seven. Like, bro. So, like, let's hit that soft cap again. Okay, we killed it. Let's see how much more levels we get until we're soft capped. Please, at least two. Two, three? Four? Okay, okay, just three more. So, at least ten flame levels off of killing the Mama Thresher one time. That's insane. All right, you can see we're in Song Seeker, bro. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, bro. Um, so basically, uh, I was tired of not finding the Mama Croc because, you know, I just couldn't find her. So I went into regions that weren't mine, like um, Singapore, to try and find one. And turns out, uh, not being able to parry is a problem. And <laughs> yeah, I died. I died. I had to get out the depths. So I don't feel like going back. So we're just going to be here. Uh, I only need two more points till we level up anyway, so let's just go find another croc and get our fire like I'm pr I I'm not even soft capped right now I just have to use two moves basically and we'll get a, a Level up carnivore. I Like carnivore, but at the same time. I feel like it's probably mid Just because I have the I could just get 
an enchant with gluttony and then I don't really need carnivore and carnivore kind of locks me out of one of the flaws I could reroll to being vegetarian so I think what we're gonna do here is switch the freeze to old habits die hard and then burn carnivore and then take immolation because now this is gonna stay frozen and we got our card and we got the rare out the way so uh, this rare is just as bad yeah I think I'm gonna roll two and just I'm gonna get two more oh my god that's terrible uh, those were so that was bro I should just took a mantra those that roll two was terrible I'm gonna have to reroll both of those cards it could have gave me any fire cards and I would have been fine all right as you can see we're magically back at the croc cave because you know I ran into a soft lock and I was like dang I'm literally gonna get no XP here and I've been recording for so long that I just want to end this episode I want to get 75 flame end this episode and edit it so I was like you know what it's worth it I gotta go back to the croc cave because that's the only place where I'm gonna get XP so here we are see how easy it is to parry when you can actually hit them bro he's stuck There we go, finally, bro. Dang, when you don't- I, I usually farm them with heavy weapons, so I don't be having a problem at all. Like, I just be killing them. Like, you can damn near stat check them, but like... Bro, when you're actually trying to fight it normally, like, parry and dodge attacks... Bro, it's so- I hate it. I actually hate it, bro. <laughs> like, oh my god, you need to stop moving. All right, there we go. We got flame to 75, so that is gonna be the end of the episode. Let's just check what cards we got. All right, very good hand. I want everything in this hand. Crazy. Uh, let's get Mirage Clone, obviously. Emperor Flame, obviously. Flaming Rebound is also really good, just extra tempo. <laughs> and let's try and get our song chan up to 6. Well, that is all the talents we got for our last level. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see the next part, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Next episode will probably be the finale. Run, homie, run, run, homie, run, I'm to the touch Your lungs feelin' blood, your head feelin' numb when I'm done Somebody's on tongue, getting cut, blood gush from the gust When I pull up on your clan, they gon' die Trapped in my eyes, black in the side, goodbye When I creep in your crib, I spit fire cause the sun's not a weep And I slick my home village, I cried, then I did really live One blade, two eyes, I kill him so quick You're like an humble mission, I stay hidden, I'm the Venice Switch shots, watch me flip